it's Jo here and today we're just going to do a really quick bake because we're going away for a week. We decided to make something that we could take with us. So I'm going to make fruit and nut flapjack, which is really, really simple. So in a pan, I've got 300 grams of butter to which I'm going to add 75 grams of brown sugar and 125 grams of syrup. So I've got a mixture of 80 grams of golden syrup and 40 grams of honey in here just to line things up a little bit. Could use any kind of, you could probably change it up and add some maple syrup or you could go darker and use molasses or treacle. Don't think it would matter. So I'm going to warm this through in the pan and then I will come back and tell you what you need to do next. So my butter mix is now lovely and melted. So this is the butter, the syrup and the sugar. And I'm going to pour this into 400 grams of oats. So I've got a mixture of ready-made granola and porridge oats in here. So I'm going to pour this in. Give it a lovely toffee bath. Just give it a good mix in. So I've also got my oven preheating. So there's different ways of eating flapjack. I personally love it when it's a bit soft and squidgy. So I've preheated my oven to 150 degrees and it's going to go in for about 25 to 30 minutes. If you like it hard, one, make it thinner, but also um, bake it on a higher temperature for the same amount of time. So bake it at about 180 degrees, 190 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes and you'll have a lovely crisp, um, more biscuity flapjack. So to this, I am going to add about 150 grams of chopped nuts and some cherries just for a bit of colour. I'm just going to give that a good mix through. These are really tiny cherries so I haven't even bothered chopping them, they should just cook nicely through the mixture. It just gives us a nice bit of colour and reminds us that there's fruit in the flapjack. So I've used a mixture of peanuts, um, almonds and hazelnuts in this and I've left them really chunky so you'll get a nice crunch out of them. And there's also raisins in the granola and raisins with the peanuts so we've got an extra bit of fruit in there as well. So that's our mix all nice and done. All that's left to do now is to pack it into a tin. I'm just using a brownie tin so this is a 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre tin. If you haven't got one of those, a 20 by 30 tin will do. And again, it depends on how thick you want your flapjack, but I personally like mine with a bit of body to it. So I'm gonna pack as much as I can into my tin. If you like a bit of spice, you could add ginger or cinnamon to this. It'd be lovely. But we're just going for plain this time. So that's a 20 by 20 tin and that's taking the whole mix, just at a nice deep um, flapjack. So I'm going to bake this for 30 minutes at 150 degrees and it should be nice and squidgy still in the middle when it comes out of the oven. So it's about two hours later and my flapjack is now fully cool out of the fridge. It's still got a nice bit of bounce in the middle so it should be nice and soft. And I'm just melting some chocolate over a double boiler which I'm then going to pour over the top, ready to serve.